All right, today we're gonna today we're gonna talk about Archie E. Mitchell. Archie E. Mitchell would be about 104 years old if he were alive today. He was born in 1918. Two tragic events happened in his life. One was the Fugo bombing. Uh, in Bly, Oregon, he was getting ready for a picnic, and his wife, who was pregnant, and their five children were all killed in the explosion of this Japanese bomb. Fugo bombs are uh, made by the Japanese, and they, they would send it. They would send it up. It's a balloon bomb. They would send it up and over the ocean because the jet streams would carry it all the way to the United States. So that's the first tragedy of his life, and it's a huge one. But then after that, since he is a missionary, was a missionary, he had an Indochina mission. On December 23rd, 1947, his new wife, he got married again. And so they decided, you know, to take their religious beliefs all the way to the other part of the world. And then years and years go by, and on Wednesday evening, May 30th of 1962, Mitchell and the rest of his staff were preparing to go to a, a doctor's house for a weekly prayer. A group of 12 members of the Viet Cong entered their grounds, and uh, they took several of them hostage. And since then, Archie E. Mitchell hasn't been seen since. We can go down here and and just look at uh, yeah. By 1969, negotiations between the C and MA and and Viet Cong soldiers appeared close to securing the release. The negotiations collapsed and never could be reconstituted. So that's a terrible story of Archie E. Mitchell, the bombing of his family, and then he was kidnapped, and uh, no one knows what happened to him to this day. The Catacomb.